How do you tell it's recording from here? And channel. Oh, sorry. Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for my brother Gideon who is helping me behind the cameras. <laughs> Thank you once again for joining me for another episode of the Bank series. Today we are looking at how to vote in the coming Kenyan general election of 2022 that will be on August 8th, ah, August 9th, 2022. Now, this is how to vote. First, let me just highlight the positions that we have. We have the pres we have six positions that we usually say six piece. We have the president, we have the member of parliament, we have the governor, we have the senator, we have the women rep, and then we have the MCA. So today I'm giving you a format on how to vote. I don't want to spend more time, but I'll go clearly and then I'll explain why I'm saying this is how you should vote. Now, one, you should vote in the president the member of parliament and the women rep all from one party i will explain why the president the member of parliament and the women rep from one party then two you should vote in the governor and mca from different parties i will explain that as well so for example if you vote in a, a governor from azimio Moza, make sure that the mca is from kenya kwanza and vice versa applies so the third person that we ought to think about is the senator. senator. Senator is in the middle there and they play a key role, especially in many things that touches on government and they all touches uh, in the, mostly what the National Assembly does, that is uh, the MPs. So uh, this is how I see it. I will leave that one for you to decide who the senator should be after I explain everything. Now, point one, why should you vote the president, the member of parliament, and the women rep as one ticket? This is the reason why you should do so. so one, the president, the member of parliament, and the women rep. Women rep are just like an additional pack, but majorly just the people who sit in the National Assembly are the people I'm talking about, and these are the members of parliament and the women reps. If the president is from Kenya Kwanza, or from Azimio, you should make sure that you vote them in one pack. Leave alone the six piece that the MPs will, the, the politicians will tell you. The reason why, if I believe in the manifesto of Azimio La Umoja, then the best people to implement it will be the president and to have majority of members of parliament in the National Assembly so that if the president initiates a process that he thinks will help the nation, you not have frustration in the parliament. So that's why I'm saying the president and the National Assembly representatives, the MPs and the women rep should come from one ticket. So if it is Kenya Kwanza, make sure it's three piece. If the Azimio, make sure it's three piece. I hope we are together up to there. But then some things touches on the Senate, especially if the if the if the members of parliament feel like we need to impeach the president so uh, in a scenario whereby we vote in let's say ruto as a president but then the majority of member of parliament are from azimio la Moja. if these members of parliament gang up together and say we want to impeach the deputy uh, the the current the, the president sorry sorry um, i gave an example that the president is william ruto but the members of parliament are from Azimio La Moja. So if these members of parliament gang up together and say we are the majority in the house and we need to put, put across a vote of no confidence to the president, then they can achieve that. But then before they achieve that, there is another house called the Senate. So if the Senate again has a majority of members of parliament from uh, members of the sen senators from Azimio La Moja, it will be easier for the members of the parliament to impeach the president because the senate will again just approve and the president is impeached in that very simple way so this is the question i leave with us now should we have the senators uh checking what the parliament is doing or should we have them from the same party another scenario is this if the members of parliament are from the same party as the president and the Senate again is from the same party as the president, meaning that the president, the MPs, women rep, and the senators are in all in the same pack. 
and the president wants to change the constitution, the constitution um, changing process, I think, has to touch on the senators. So if the president wants to in initiate a process of changing the constitution, the Senate will not really check that much because they are part of the lawmakers. Because this is our party leader has said we pass this, so that means they will just come and pass it. And this will lead the country into shambles. And I think we experienced this in the previous regime of Uru Ruto because they had majority of members of parliament in the National Assembly and then they had a lot of senators in the Senate. So that's why most things were not scrutinized well. So you understand the role that the, the senators are playing in these elections or in every other election in this country. So that's why I'm still not really okay giving a way forward on who to vote for the Senate. But in this uh, discussion, I'll feel like you should vote in someone uh, from the same party in this in this discussion for now. <laughs> for now, let's vote someone who will not frustrate the parliament from uh, working. So let's believe that we trust Azimil Omoja. We vote, uh, we feel the MPs of uh, Azimil Omoja and we feel the senators from Azimil Omoja which uh, is a bit uh, impossible in the scenario bearing in mind whatever the ground that's my opinion so let's go now to the last person this is the governors and the MCA so regardless of who you vote as the governor or the MCA the National Assembly will allocate resources and the senators again will fight for resources will determine allocation of national revenue among counties as per the article 217 of the constitution that goes to the counties so whoever becomes the county governor uh, has no much control on what happens you know when we talk about the 35 percent revenue uh, or uh, allocation of revenue going to the county assembly whoever is there has to use that 35 percent allocated to them probably, uh, not probably, approved by the Senate. So if we have senators from, let's say, Kenya Kwanzaa, and they are, agree that we are going to give, uh, I come from uh, Kiambu County, if they say that Kiambu County is led by the uh, Dazimi Lomoda uh, governor, so that means where whatever the Senate has approved to come to Kiambu, the governor has no control over what to say, but rather to accept it. But then again, he is being checked by the MCAs. So if we have a governor in Kiambu who is from the Azimula Moja Park, then we should have an MCA who is from uh, Kenya Kwanzaa. This is the reason why. The MCAs will represent the people on the ground and they'll fight for resources to come directly to them. So if we have a governor in Kiambu who is from Azimula Moja and we have an MCA who is from Azimula Moja, chances are these people will collude and the MCAs will not effectively do their role in checking the govern the governance, yes, because they are from the same party. If the president, if Uhuru, who is the chairman of Azimula Moja, calls a meeting and say we all have to work together, don't frustrate the governor. And the MCA is here, he feels like he needs to represent the people and he can't represent the people because uh, we are from the same party. This is what the chairman has said. So that's why I say, if the governor is from Kenya Kwanzaa, let the MCA be from Azimila Moja and vice versa applies. So that is why I feel you should vote in the president, the member of parliament and the women rep as one pack, the governor and governor from whichever side. Uh, at least you have to look for someone who you feel their performer governor from either as New York in Kwanzaa but then make sure that the the MCA is not from the same the same party I feel this will be a uh, good governance in terms of cross-checking what the government is doing then for the Senate I will leave for you to decide because well I can't really really get grasp where they should fall in but then uh, this is where I leave you to decide this is a democratic nation but then, this is how I feel. You should vote in the coming general elections of 2022. And this is Mr. Official. Please subscribe, hit the like button, leave your comment down there. And I appreciate every kind of comment. So feel free and talk to me. That has been my time. Thank you.